dark web tends to be a, an obscure place where about which people don't don't know much. Um, the reality is that dark web is actually not that dark, uh, and what happens there is is uh, is quite simple and straightforward. Uh, and we can divide this into a few broad categories. Uh, one of them being uh, forums where actors will talk with one another. Uh, and another category being, being markets, where actors will sell uh, items uh, to one another. And overall, the, the dark web enables uh, malicious actors to collaborate anonymously. And so there's a risk for an organization there. If they're, if they're not monitoring the dark web, uh, there's a risk that you can have actors discussing about an organization, planning uh, a threat or discussing a certain vulnerability, vulnerability that they may have uh, discovered. Or they may be sharing sharing a list of um, a list of targets that are vulnerable to, to a certain attack, and an organization's domain name can appear in that list. And so that's where uh, dark web monitoring comes in. Uh, the idea is that by by always being aware of what's being discussed in the criminal underground, and by having a a, a reliable and stable solution that can filter uh, any false positives and give reliable alerts on when anything concerning an organization uh, appears. Uh, the company can actually uh, be proactive. So before an attack actually takes place, uh, the organization can be aware that malicious actors are planning it and take proactive measures to, to reduce the risks. Uh, and this way, they can ensure that if, if, for example, a vulnerability is discussed on the dark web, they can patch it quickly uh, and make sure it's not exploited. Uh, and if an actor is, uh, is discussing a new way to bypass a security system or a multi-factor authentication, well, they can take proactive measures uh, before it gets exploited and especially exploited uh, on a massive scale when all of these malicious actors get, uh, get informed by, by this. Yeah.